Greetings, friends. I'm coming back to you again, and I want to play off of something that I mentioned in the last video. I talked about something that all of us need to think about more. We need to reverse what is happening in our society. Uh, we, we've, we've reversed it from what we should be having. We should be having a focus on the spiritual, not the physical. So our society has it reversed, so we've got to reverse it back. We've got to understand that God is real. This is April Fool's Day, and the, only the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Most people believe in God. 98%, I think, do. Because how can you possibly see that we are an amazing creation and the things in our own bodies, much less the creation of this universe and all the things that God has made? How can you possibly look at all the design and order knowing that there's something wrong? That's the curse of sin, but we can talk about that more later. But how can you possibly look at all of that and say there is no God? So only a fool on this April Fool's Day would say that there is no God. But we know that there is. And because there is, he's the creator and he made us. And so because he made us, he knows all about us. And inside we have something that desires attention. We have something inside of us that wants to be filled. Some have said it's like a God-shaped vacuum, and there's nothing that can fill it. I heard this morning that because of the, the stay-at-home orders that are being uh, put in place all over this country, and even, even where I am, that people are stocking up on alcohol. Record numbers of alcohol have been ordered and stocked up on, and, and, and I just think, what good is that going to do? Is that going to take away the threat of this virus? Is that going to take away the threat of harm? Might make you feel like you don't care, but our problem is not that we don't need to care. We need to care more. We need to understand that we've got it reversed. We need to emphasize the spiritual. It needs to be emphasized in our lives and in the things that we watch and the things that we listen to and the things that we meditate on and think on. And that's what I want to do today. I want to, I want to just talk about that a little. And then I want to sing a song that I hope would be an encouragement to you. Something that you can take with you and, and just sing, uh, and, and think about and meditate on as you talk to God. So if you want to see a change in your life, and I trust that this is going to be a change. I mean, I'm, I'm writing still. I, I write on my, I'm on my website, vtlessons2learn.com. I wrote a blog, uh, just yesterday. And uh, it is called The Perfect Test. And that blog should be read because there is nothing that I've seen in my lifetime or your lifetime, nothing to this extent has happened in our country and even the world to affect so many people like this virus and the threat of it and the uncertainty that it brings. And again, how we must live. We must live by faith and not by fear which so many people are, even though they may deny it. So this test is a perfect test, and uh, you should go to the website and look. Again, vtlessons2learn.com if you want to see that and what I say there to develop that idea. But I wanted to do something a little different today. And I, I meet with people now during this time. Uh, I'm, I'm meeting with people in my home, and we try to encourage each other. Uh, we tried to think of positives, as I mentioned, for the for the coronavirus, uh, negatives and positive. We thought of way more positives to come out of this. So hang in there, keep the faith, not the fear, and in, be encouraged in the Lord. Be encouraged in His Word. One verse that many people have used frequently, many believers have used, is a verse that you may be familiar with and probably are. It's in 2 Timothy 1.7. Now, interestingly, uh, right before this in the context, Paul was talking to Timothy and he's saying to Timothy, stir up the gift that is in you, that God gave you through what Paul's ministry had been to him. And then he says in verse 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love 
and of a sound mind. So that is what I want to convey to you. You can have that spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind and not a spirit of fear that makes you wonder what's going to happen. When are things going to return to normal? What What's going to happen in my life? Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish on this April Fool's Day. Think about what the word of God says. Think about what he wants you to do. He wants you to reverse your thinking, not focusing on the material, not focusing on possessions, not focusing on even the emotional, although that's important. It's the gateway between the two. But focus on the spiritual. God knows what he's doing, and he is testing all of us through this coronavirus. So I thought of a song. I thought of a song that that I have I have really benefited from since I was a child. This song is one that's uh, written by Ron Hamilton. It's a song that is in his Patch the Pirate adventures. Um, God has used that man tremendously, and I would recommend you looking at that in Majesty Music and, and all the things that honor God in what they do. But one song that he sang that I remember singing as a child and that I have even sung uh, at a uh, truck stop ministry recently uh, before that has, had stopped meeting, and that I'm singing here for the group uh, today, is the song, How Can I Fear? So look that up, How Can I Fear by Ron Hamilton, and you'll see the words to that. But I want to sing that and convey that in a way which would hopefully encourage you, which would hope you help you to understand that you can have hope help you to understand that no matter what happens, God is in control. No matter what happens, he will be there for you and help you and you can walk with him. So I want to sing this song now. How can I fear? When shadows fall and the night covers all, there are things that my eyes cannot see. I'll never fear, for the Savior is near, my Lord abides with me. How can I fear? Jesus is near. He ever watches over me. Worries all cease. He gives me peace. How can I fear with Jesus? When I'm alone and I face the unknown and I fear what the future may be, I can depend on the strength of my friend, he walks along with me. How can I fear? Jesus is near. He ever watches over me. Worries all cease, he gives me peace. How can I fear with Jesus? Jesus is king, he controls everything. He is with me each night and each day. I trust my soul 
to the Savior's control. He drives all fear away. How can I fear? Jesus is near. He ever watches over me. Worries all cease. He gives me peace. How can I fear with Jesus? Now, I hope that was a blessing to you. I hope that was something that can encourage your heart. I sang it a cappella. I, I, I like to sing. I like to have music sometimes to, to give instrumentation. It adds to it. Video sometimes can add to it, but uh, sometimes you just sing a cappella. And I try to have a, a song in my heart all the time. I try to sing to myself psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, as Scripture says we should. Uh, I'd, I'd love to share more now. Uh, I, I've got stuff planned for this site. I have a series planned. I've got a series planned on, on, on God's top 10. My first video was on the top 10 lessons God showed me. Uh, then I, uh, I talked more about, uh, uh, that and, and talked about and read a blog, uh, about fear and tying it to all this situation. And, and then I talked about what I want to see. And I believe God is doing through this virus with change and revival. If, if God's people in second Chronicles 7, 14 says, as if God's people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I think that's what is going to have to happen for God to heal the land. But, but I've got other things I want to talk about. I've got so much I can share from God's eternal word, so much out there. And I'm trying to stir up this gift of teaching God has given me. And I want to be a blessing to you in this Lessons to Learn channel. So I want you to subscribe to it. I want you to, to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And I've got a series planned and I, and I, and I, I want uh, to do something on God's top 10 where I give you a summary of the 10 commandments so you can remember them more. The 10 commandments and, and what God wrote with his finger. And, uh, and just detail each one as we go through that. So that'd be 10 or 11 videos right there just to do all of that. So that's coming. Other things I'm thinking about coming. I'd like any suggestions. If, if you have a suggestion for something you'd like me to talk about, uh, I, I've worked in, I've worked in campus ministry. I worked at Virginia Tech. I mean, I wrote a book about what happened to me. Um, uh, you can, you can go and look at that more and see more about who I am, my background. But, but, uh, I'm used to answering questions. Uh, I'll be glad to, to pray for a particular situation if you want to put that down there. But please subscribe and, and please look forward to uh, what else I have in store or what God has in store to use me for for this channel. So God bless you and may you be encouraged even through this song and not fear no matter what happens. Learn to do what I learned, through, which is what the theme of my book is, is to trust God and his word. No matter what.